Hello and welcome to the Admin Bar, the WordPress community and podcast connecting people with the products, lessons, and strategy to help push their business forward. My name is Kyle Van Dusen from Ogle Web Design just outside of Fort Worth, Texas. And with me, as always, is my good buddy and co-host Matt Siebert from Paria Strategic Design. How's it going today, Matt? It's going well. It's uh, We just got hit by a, a north, northeaster. It uh, yeah. put about two feet of snow outside, so I've been busy shoveling. Uh, my car died. Uh, on the side of the road, on the way to uh, to Concord, out in the middle of nowhere, zero reception. So I was I was stuck out there in the cold for about five hours. Uh, that was terrible. But uh, things are starting to go back to normal now. So as you I can see, I've almost some... moved completely out of the uh, the apartment here. And uh, I think the next time you guys see me, I will be in my new house. Yay! I was going to say, I, it looks like I see some cardboard behind you. <laughs> so uh, that's a good sign that things are moving along. Yes, indeedy. Well, awesome. We are going to be talking with uh, Dave Navarro Jr. today about some not so typical networking. There was a thread in the group not too long ago. I will include a link to that here in the show notes. Uh, but there was a thread where Dave was sharing with us uh, how he's been able to do a lot of networking at his local WordPress uh, meetup. So welcome to the show, Dave. How are you doing today? Great. How are you? We're doing excellent. Yeah. I've, I've resisted the temptation to make a uh, Dave Navarro, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Jane's Addiction type joke, because uh, well, I feel like you've probably heard it before. I, I have. And the funny thing is, is, so one of my vanity domains is not a chili pepper dot com. <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, is that people find my email address, you know, out, out in the world or whatever, and without asking like are you him or they just send me email thinking maybe i am and i get some really bizarre email to some of my email addresses oh that's incredible <laughs> you need to just start uh signing autographs and sending them back yeah well but... he is he actually he is a fourth cousin oh so really yeah so we are related nice that's awesome well we like you better because the One Hot Minute album was probably my least favorite Chili Peppers album, and I'm just going to blame that all on your cousin. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's uh, let's let's quit talking Red Hot Chili Peppers and let's talk uh, WordPress. So, in okay. this thread, we were uh, we were talking a little bit about um, your Word WordPress meetup. That uh, do you help uh, run that, or is that just something you attend? So, no, actually, um, I run my the local meetup here where I live in Topeka, Kansas. Um, I participate in meetups in Kansas City about an hour's drive away. Uh, occasionally, I go up into uh, Omaha, which is about two to two and a half hours away. Um, and I've been to a few others, uh, regular meetups. Uh, and then I, just, I speak at probably a couple dozen work camps every year. Nice. So, so what got you, I, I hadn't been to like a local meetup. What got you, uh, what got you into that in the first place? And how long have you been doing that? Um, you know, uh, I, there was no meetup here in Topeka and the closest one was in Kansas city. And, um, you know, actually I did it for the networking. I wanted to meet some other WordPress people. Um, and, uh, and then I, uh, I'm have been using WordPress almost from the day WordPress was released, so I'm pretty knowledgeable in it. I'm a, I'm actually a developer, so I do a lot with plugin and theme development. So you know, I I I went with the intent of um, meeting people and getting my name out there um, because things were kind of slow and hoping hopefully somebody would see how much I knew and they'd say, Hey, we're looking for a developer. You know, what are you doing? Hmm. Okay. Well, that's awesome. So is, is that kind of how it's worked? Yeah, actually, you know, it has. Um, I, uh, the very first meetup that I, so Kansas city is a pretty big group. They do several meetups a month. And one of the meetups that they used to do was a kind of an ask me anything kind of a deal where um, people with WordPress problems could show up and then a few experts would be there and help them solve whatever their problems were. So I went to that as my first meeting um, with the intention of being an expert and showing off what I know. And then, uh, and then it just kind of ballooned from there. So, so what, kind of, uh, what kind of people are, are showing up at these local meetups? 
Well, so um, in Kansas City, you get a really good mix of um, really knowledgeable uh, WordPress people that have been doing it for quite some time, you know, all the way down to the person who, who installed their first WordPress website last week. Um, so um, it's a huge, you know, city, and, they, and they've got a really good collection there. Here in Topeka, um, almost everybody who comes to the meetups that I run they're all new people. I don't get really anybody with uh, with WordPress knowledge whatsoever coming to the meetups that I do here in Topeka. The interesting thing is, is I don't get a lot of people from Topeka, um, but I get a lot of people from an hour away, two hours away. They drive in, you know, for my meetups um, because I do two Ask Me Anything meetups a month, and, and those are the ones that get the most uh, people showing up. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. The, uh, the post that kind of spawned this was, uh, you would, you had said that, you know, if you don't have a WordPress meetup in your town to, to start one. So that being said, like if there, if, if somebody thinks that that's a great idea and I think that it is, um, and they wanted to start one, what, uh, what would you think would be the, the thing that like most people would want out of one by, uh, by going to one? So I, um, I do two different types of meetups. I do, like I say, the ask me anything and I get people to show up to the, to every single one of those that I run. I do two a month. Um, I do a regular meetup where I pick a topic. Um, this month's topic is um, picking the right theme for your website. And those um, more tutorial kind of ones where I do a presentation, um, sometimes I don't get anybody show up at all. So really, um, in the area where I'm at, it's the people who are desperate for help um, who are showing up. So, you know, if you're a WordPress person and you know a lot about WordPress and you give a lot of, of good WordPress advice um, and you don't have a meetup in your area, starting up your meetup just doing that, just doing the Ask Me Anythings, you'll get people to show up. You know, and then uh, and then things just kind of go from there. And these meetups are are somewhat governed by WordPress themselves, right? Like you can't just do this willy nilly on your own. You kind of got to go through a system, right? No, actually, you can. So you know, there's um there's a number of um, meetups that are for like web people that aren't specific to WordPress. So um, you know, in Kansas City, again. Um, there's meetups for designers. There's meetups for Google developers. There's meetups for, um, you know, Linux people and, and just about anything that you can think of. Um, so, you know, if your thing is not WordPress, but it is kind of web in general and you're really not and, and you have a little bit of WordPress knowledge, um, then you could probably go ahead and do a meetup. The great thing about doing it through WordPress, though, is that WordPress pays for Meetup because Meetup.com does have a fee associated with it. Um, and then there's a lot of other things that you get, support that you get from WordPress um, by going through them and creating an official Meetup. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask, how do, how do you promote it? How do you get the word out and make sure people are showing up? So um, when you create a, an official WordPress Meetup group, um, whenever you go to meetup.com and you create a meetup in meetup.com, um, that meetup will show up in the dashboard for everybody within a couple hundred miles. Yeah, I um, see those in mind. So, you know, so, <laughs> yeah, so if you have that, that little dashboard uh, widget um, for, you know, WordPress uh, events and, and things of that nature, um, it shows up there. Uh, and then, of course, um, you know, I, I have a, a – Facebook group that I run for our local meetup. Um, WordPress has nothing to do with that. That's just something that I created. And here in Topeka or in this area, um, Facebook has a larger group of participates, uh, participants than in a lot of other areas. So I actually get the word out better through Facebook than, than anything else. Okay. So tell us, you know, you, you kind of described a, a lot of new people showing up to these things. Give us some typical things people walk in with and, and 
how you kind of help them through these problems. Give us a couple scenarios uh, from Sure. From your so, um, you know, in my last meeting, um, I had somebody show up that um, has a, a WooCommerce site and um, he used, uh, he's using a couple of plugins and the plugins um, weren't compatible. He, um, the theme that, that had been installed for him um, uses, uh, uh, I think it's visual code or VS code or something like that, but um, it's a drag and drop, not a drag and drop, but it's a, it's a beaver builder slash element or kind of thing, but it's all in the back end and it's, and, uh, but he was having some issues with the WooCommerce output um, not looking correct. So he was just looking for a little, it ended up being a little CSS help um, to kind of make things flow better um, and make his, uh, his order form not kind of all scrunch over to the right side of the browser, right. um, which is what was happening. Um, you know, I've got um, a library in another part of the state she drives, she spends two hours driving out to every single one of the meetings that I do. And um, I've been helping her with um, re they're rebuilding their website. And, um, and then she just didn't know what short codes were and needed help with that. And then, um, you know, a lot of it is what is the best plugin for? So, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, hey, I want to do events or, hey, I want to do um, meetings or, or I want to do, um, uh, bookings or, or that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, or just even, you know, what, uh, I'm, I'm, I've got a, uh, uh, I don't know, a, um, uh, doctor's office. What's the best theme that I can use, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's just, it's a real eclectic mix of just all kinds of stuff. So as far as when you're when you're helping those people out and kind of some of those examples you gave them during during the meetups themselves, I imagine they last an hour or so. Uh, you actually sit down with them and help them work those things out right there. Exactly. So um, here at at my office, um, I have a, a meeting room which is where we hold everything, and I've got um, you can maybe kind of see it back over here. I've got a TV on wheels. Okay. Um, and so it's a big, um, 50 inch monitor and I roll that into the conference room and I plug my laptop into it and, or I'll plug their laptop into it and then we'll work on the things together. Um, the meetings are scheduled for two hours, but you know, like last week I went four and a half hours and there's like six people showed up and I wanted to make sure that I, you know, everybody who, who wanted to stay and get help, that they got help. And, and so I just stayed until we got everything done. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I was gonna ask, like, what um, what do these like typically look like? Um, you know, I'm sure there's a difference between when you're giving a talk and when you're when you're helping out, like the AMA type things. But uh, for those people that you know might want to do this but have never spoken in front of a crowd or anything, like, how intimate or how uh, like what's the vibe that uh, that these usually have? You know, it's it's. Um... I, I get probably two or three new people at every single meeting and they're typically very quiet mm -hmm. and, um, and the, everybody is very respectful. You know, they come in, they, um, if I've already started the meeting, they sit down and they wait. Um, I've got some information on the meetup saying, Hey, you know, it's scheduled from seven to nine. And so um, you can show up at any point during that. Obviously I'm going to be helping people, um, and everybody's got to kind of wait their turn. But, you know, it's funny, most of them typically show up around the beginning and no matter who I'm helping, just about everybody's taking notes, right? Hmm. So somebody will ask me, you know, what's a good event calendar plug-in? And I'll go through, you know, the two or three that I've used and then everybody will break out a notebook and they'll start taking notes and writing out all the plug-in names and, you know, and stuff like that. And so, you know, the funny thing is, is um, trying to get people to speak up um, you know, there's there's a couple of people that have been to some meetings where they always wait to be the last person and everybody leaves because they don't want to speak in front of anybody else that's there. Right. Um, you know, that kind of a thing. So um, so it's uh, it's real fun. Well, it sounds awful generous of you to be giving up this much time every month. But <clears throat> when we kind of brought this up, you had talked about how this has actually turned into paid work for you. So. Uh, how do you, how do you justify giving up this much of your time for, I mean, 
you're just being kind and helping people. Uh, but you know, that is turning, turning into work. Is there like an ROI on that or do you not look at it? That well, way? yeah, you know, I would say that, um, you know, between this and even when I, when I do work camps, you know, I mean, I, I pick up quite a bit of work. Um, it's, you know, you, you, I've established myself as the WordPress guy, like everybody in the area knows if you've got a problem, even with non WordPress, you know, it's a, it's a CSS question or an HTML question or something like that. Um, I'm known as the one who can probably help you fix that. Um, so, you know, there are people, you know, even in my last meeting, um, I had a guy that showed up, he had some issues with his website. And when it was done, he's like, hey, are you available? Because I've got a whole bunch of other things. And my web guy is like, he's not answering my calls anymore. He's not answering my emails. And, uh, and so, you know, that's a, that's a new contract that I picked up. Um, and then, you know, at word camps, when I speak about a topic, um, a couple of years ago, I did one about, um, about uh, Facebook Live. Um, and I had companies that were flying me all over the country to speak to their employees about what I knew about Facebook Live, wow. um, you know, and stuff like that. So, I mean, I wouldn't say that the amount of work I get from doing this is um, maybe even 20% or 15% of, of um, the work that I typically get all the time, um, you know, but I have managed to snag a few big contracts. Um, just because somebody came to one of my meetings and then they told somebody else, well, whatever problem you're having, this is the guy. I was at one of his meetings and he answered every question, um, you know, and the only thing you have to be really careful about is that WordPress has very specific rules about not promoting yourself or or, you know, going out and saying, hey. I'm, I'm available for hire. You know, you got to let them approach you. Mm -hmm. um, but I've, I've never had a problem with that. I have people do it all the time. Yeah, and I would and, imagine. You know, going back to the uh, that that uh, that same topic and and the what am I trying to say here? The uh, that original post. Um, you know, a lot of people have uh, have have commented saying that you know they uh, they either are starting one themselves after reading the post or that they already do and. Uh, Lou, for example, says that um, that he's a shy uh, shy person by nature, but he does organize his local uh, WordPress uh, meetup, and that again he's known as the local WordPress guy, and that it's helped him a lot. And he ends with uh, the more you give, the more you get, which you know that that definitely makes sense because you know anybody that's that's coming to you for help, they're going to continue probably to come to you for help, regardless of whether or not you're you're running the group or or whatever. They'll just reach out and continue to ask oh absolutely and, I, and i've got you know some regulars that come to every single meeting and you know it's the free meeting they've never paid me for any of the help that i've given them um but again like i said you get everybody showing up kind of around the same time and you help somebody and everybody else hears that and they're taking notes and they're like and you're answering absolutely everything you know you're you, you I, at least for me, I've been doing this for so long that, that, that very rarely does anybody stump me or anything like that. And the worst case scenario, it's like, you know what, I'll do some research. And if you come to the next meeting, I'll have an answer for you. And I always do. Mm -hmm. um, so and like I said, it, it, it may not be the people that come to the meeting, but I I get a lot of work from people who come to the meetings and then recommend me to other people or their bosses or the state of Kansas or something like that, where, right. you know, I've done some big contracts because, you know, it's the, it's the whole networking aspect of it. I think that's the, that's the biggest lesson you have to learn about any kind of networking. If you go into any kind of networking group, meetup, online group, whatever it is, someplace where you're networking for your business, if you go in there with the mentality to sell to people, you're not going to do it. Like mm -hmm. it doesn't look good. It doesn't come off good. People don't like it. You got to just be there to help people get to know people, learn what they do. You know, I'm, I'm thinking genuine. of like other, other kind of networking events too. You know, you, you want to be there and be the helpful person. And those are the kind of people that, that people want to reach out and hire. But if you just walk in the door and say, Oh, you need to know what plugin to use. You know, if you pay me 50 bucks, I'll help you. Like, 
you're never going to get work that way. That might be a little oversimplified, but you see people in, in just like our group or other Facebook groups that come in real hot and want to try to start selling to people right away. And that's, that's not the way good networking works. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I've, I've had a couple of people show up to some meetups um, that have, you know, other types of businesses and, you know, they show up and they immediately start handing out business cards and they'll start plugging their business, you know, which isn't related to, to WordPress or, or anything like that. But, you know, it's like they're, they're just in sell mode, like all the time. And, um, and I'm one of those people that, you know, I grew up and, and, uh, and my parents were the kind of neighbors that helped everybody. And that's where I kind of got that from. Um, so I've always been the, I'll help you with whatever, you know, kind of a person. Um, and I've been very fortunate in that, that attitude of wanting to genuinely help people um, has worked out in people coming back and saying, hey, I need a little bit more help. And I think this is something I should really pay you for instead of just asking you to do it for free. Because um, there are a lot of people out there that are like that. Yeah, there really are. For That's sure. for sure. Have, ah. have you ran into uh, other other developers showing up at these meetings wanting to kind of butt themselves in? Or how does that work if you have, you know, a quote unquote competitor in the room? So, in you know, when I go to Kansas City, like I said, there's a lot more knowledgeable people there uh, in their meetups. And so there are a few other developers um, that will show up. And, you know, I think probably two or three times, you know, I've, I've had a disagreement with another developer in terms of, you know, my advice versus their advice, but it's always been friendly, you know, and, and then in the end, we both just kind of say, well, try both, try what he's saying, try what I'm saying and see what works best for you, you know, kind of a deal. But um, I, I think just in the peer group that I exist in or in the world that I exist in, most of the developers that I know, um, they tend to defer to me just because I've been at it a lot longer. Um, I'm 52. I wrote my first program when I was eight years old. I, I opened my first business selling computer programs when I was 13 years old, sold my company for $150,000 when I was 16 years old. Um, so I've been at this kind of a thing for a very long time. Um, and I'm a very, um, you know, outgoing and, and forceful kind of a guy. So <laughs> that's kind of worked out for me. Yeah, well, sure. I can see that just, uh, just in our group, you're always helping people out and contributing to the group. And I want to tell you that we definitely appreciate that. And it's, uh, it's definitely mm -hmm. noticed. I know there's lots of people in there, you know, it's, I think it's probably very similar to an in-person meetup. There's a lot of people that join the admin bar because they're trying to build or work on their own site and are just stuck. And, and what's really nice is when you see somebody brand new come in there and ask for, you know, what some might consider a very intermediate level question, how many people in the group kind of rally around and help these people out. Uh, it's just a testament to the kind of, the kind of community WordPress attracts, you know? Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, is that, um, you know, there's, there's a few um, much bigger WordPress um, related groups and the atmosphere in those groups tends to be like a little bit more hostile. Um, you know, there's a lot of the, that's a noob question. Look it up. You know, they're here. The search bar is over there. You know, I ban those people. Yeah. Instantly. We kick those guys yeah, out and, fast. Yeah, instantly. Exactly. And so, you know, it's funny because when I joined your group um, and I looked through the posts that were already there, um, I mean, it was just like this, this, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy kind of a thing right out the gate or whatever. And I felt extremely comfortable um, in, in being able to throw out, you know, the things that I know and, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's been a very, very pleasant experience. That's well, I'm, awesome I'm glad to hear. to hear that. That's definitely what we're aiming for. I mean, it's, it's honestly, you know, you talk about all your experience, uh, you know, five years ago, I didn't know how to install WordPress, maybe six <laughs> years ago. I mean, it's not that long ago, uh, to where now I'm running a, you know, uh, in my eyes, my company's successful. I'm doing the things I want to do and able to support my family with it. Um, so it's not been that long. And, and the only reason I was able to 
get from there to here that quickly is because people, you know, online were willing to lend a hand and help out. So uh, I know, I know there's people joining the group every day at all kinds of different levels of experience. So I just want to make sure we don't, we don't alienate those new people because uh, we were all of them at one point. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I was, I was, and, and the funny thing, like I said, at my age and when I started, you know, there wasn't Facebook or anything like that. Um, I, uh, I was one of the first CompuServe users and dialed in, you know, with my modem that I built from Radio Shack and, you know, whatever and that kind of stuff. But, um, but this is, I just, I just love, um, not just the WordPress community, you know, I'm definitely a WordPress groupie. Um, but I just love, um, you know, groups like yours and, and Chris Castillo's got a great group and, and a few others where, you know, there's just, there's people that realize that just because I'm helping you, it's not going to hurt me, right? You're mm-hmm. not going to take right. away my business. You know, um, it's even if we somehow find each other clashing online for the same account, you know, or something like that. I and mean, it's just not going to happen for the most part. Right. You know, I'm helping you to succeed where you are. And, and even with the newbies, you know, sometimes they, they give, they post a gem, you know, you learn, I learn something new, yeah. you know, from those new or intermediate people as well. So, um, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So let's, uh, let's wrap this up with a little bit of, of advice for people. So let's look at, at two different ways. If somebody's not quite to the point of wanting to go start their own meetup, what should they do right now? If they just want to go check one out and participate, what's the easiest way to do that? So, you know, find, find a WordPress meetup that you can go to, um, go to meetup.com, you know, search for WordPress in your area, see what, what's around. Um, in some cases, you know, there's a few places where there may not be an official WordPress meetup real close to you, but there's web related meetups, maybe, you know, that are closest, um, that you can get to or something like that. Um, you know, I spent several years driving to Kansas city, um, every single month to go to meetups before I started up my own here. And like I said, I went there with the intention of helping as many people as I can and got a lot of business, you know, had a lot of people in Kansas city, um, that hired me to do stuff. Um, uh, it was at that, you know, going to the Kansas City meetup and they do their own work camp every year where I learned about work camps and was invited to speak at a work camp. And then, like I said, then going out and, and speaking at different work camps all over the country again, you know, I went to I wasn't able to go to work camp U.S. this year, but I went to work camp U.S. last year in Tennessee and Nashville and literally had somebody pay me at work camp to help them with a thing. Jeez. You know, so it's like, cool, spending money, you know? Right. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, so, you know, and uh, and like I said, I've had, um, uh, you know, in some of my discussions and things like that, I've had companies that have flown me out to speak to their employees about whatever the topic was. So, um, you know, just it's whether it's the local meetup or whether it's the Chamber of Commerce, whether it's just get out and meet people and show that you are the expert. You are the one that knows all about this stuff, no matter where you're, you're going to meetups or, or meetings or, or conferences or whatever, um, you'll have people that'll, that'll see that value in you. Uh, and hopefully, you know, um, say, Hey, can you can I pay you to do a little work for me? And I think that's the, the, you said it right there. The key is, uh, I think we have a lot of, a lot of questions that come up in the group about sales. And that's a, an area where a lot of people struggle, especially, I mean, there's people that are brilliant developers and designers, but they have trouble selling. It's not their thing. You know, the best advice is just get out in the real world and talk to some Mm -hmm. people. Yeah. We, we don't all love to, I don't love to do it. I'd rather sit in my office in my pajamas all day. But the truth is, you're just going to have a much better conversion rate getting customers in person. It's you just know, the, I, and the, the funny thing is, is that in getting out and meeting um, people in my local community and stuff like that, um, I do a lot of contract work with other agencies in my area. So I'm a developer. I don't necessarily like to go out and do a hard sell or anything like that. Um, but when I got out there and I met some designers that were like, Hey, I'm selling web designs, but they keep asking me 
to make a website do this or make a website do that. And I'm like, well, I'm a developer and I make websites do that. So maybe we could collaborate. And so I actually get probably, you know, almost half of the work that I do every year um, is as a subcontractor for another agency. Mm -hmm. So if you're not one of those people, get out there and meet those competitors, you know, in town and see if maybe you can work something out where they're hiring you to do stuff or, in some cases, I've had clients come directly to me, and then I've gone back to them as the designer and said, you know, I've got a client, and I don't do design work, so you've hired me in the past. I want to hire you to do the design, and I'll do the development and, and build those kinds of relationships. Yeah, yeah It's not sure. a competitor. It's the opportunity for a strategic partner. Yeah. And exactly. I mean, just one uh, that I think works really well in our field is to, uh, to go talk to print shops, too. A lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, print shops do a, a phenomenal job doing the uh, the whole like physical thing, but uh, a lot of them don't offer webs. So, see, uh, see, you know, just walk in, see if they do. If they don't, hand them your card. It's a it's a real easy sell. Typically, you know, it's it's just a conversation. And mm -hmm. I mean, I get I get plenty of leads from uh, a couple of the the print shops around here. Yeah, you and the computer, same customers and computer stores. You know, yes. I I've got computer stores in town to hand out my business card. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody that shares that same customer customer base. So let me ask you, uh, since we kind of talked about uh, people who just might want to go check one out, let's say somebody is amped up and wants to start one. What's the first thing they need to do if they're wanting to start a, a uh, WordPress meetup and what are some pitfalls for them to look out for? So if you go to uh, wordpress.org, um, I think it's wordpress.org slash meetup, but I can get you the URL to sure. There's information about that and a form that you fill out in order to start the local meetup in your area. I would recommend that you go to an existing meetup and talk to them, you know, about the whole process, right? Because I, by going to Kansas City for as many years as I did, I knew all about, by the time I started mine, I kind of knew about everything. I knew about what they go through in terms of, you know, contacting people and what's required and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So you'll, you'll kind of get a little bit ahead of the game if you find a meetup somewhere and go talk to the organizers there. Um, and then they can kind of help you, you know, um, go in the right direction. But if you just, you don't want to go, you want to do this right after you watch this, like I say, just go to WordPress.org, um, find that little meetup um, uh, uh, link, and uh, and then it'll you, know, you can read all the information about it. And there's a, a button that'll take you to a form, and you fill out all the information saying where you are and what you want to do, and then uh, and then they'll call you and interview you. You got to go through like one or two interviews, um, and then uh, and then they'll purchase your meetup.com space and sign you as an admin and then you're just kind of off and running now nice. what about uh like venues um sort of somebody that wants to start it up like what uh what's a, what's a typical venue i mean you you have a space but for those that might not so libraries are great so the kansas city uh, meetups are there are several um, branch libraries there and they kind of spread them out among the different libraries um, and then, uh, Google has a big meeting space and they sometimes use that for some things. Um, here in Topeka, um, we started out at Topeka library, um, you know, doing our meetups there because they offer, um, free meeting space for nonprofits. Um, and, but I've, I've been to meetups in cafes. Um, there's a couple of, uh, PHP groups that meet in coffee houses, um, you know, and that kind of stuff. So. You can find space just about uh, anywhere. Very cool. Well, awesome. Well, we, we certainly appreciate you coming on and kind of telling us about this. It's something that I see happening, but I don't know a lot about. So now I feel much more mm -hmm. educated on that. I think this would be useful for people. I, I want to go back and look at my dashboard now. I know there's there's several. Uh, Kay, who's in our group, runs a meetup in Denton, which is unfortunately a little too far for me now it used to be right where i lived but uh she runs one there and i know she puts a lot of work into that so i, I need to go visit her sometime but i know there's some close to me closer to me as well so i definitely need to go check those out matt did uh did i forget to cover anything we were wanting to make sure we went over no i think we got everything <laughs> awesome i always ask yeah 
Might as well. <laughs> well, Dave, I appreciate you jumping on with us. And I uh, thank you so much for being so helpful in the group. And, you know, and thank Absolutely. you for, for what you do with your your meetups. I think any anytime somebody's putting some value into WordPress, that's good for all of us as a whole. So on the behalf of other WordPress professionals, thank you for what you do. It's awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I would just want to say anybody watching this, um, if you're going to be going this route and you have questions, you know, get a hold of me in the group. Yeah, so. absolutely. Dave, Dave is there and around. He's not touring right now, so not a big deal. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, as a reminder, if this group helps you in any way, the easiest way to help us is to share the content, subscribe to our podcast or YouTube channel, and use our affiliate links. It's all free. It takes a little time, and it greatly helps support the show. That is all for now. We will catch you all inside the group. Bye-bye. Bye. I forgot I'm not even on screen, so I can pick my nose if I want.